Red Corona is the first in the Richard Knox spy thriller series. It follows disgraced MI5 agent Richard Knox as he is given one last chance uh, to prove his loyalty to MI5 by uncovering a mole at the highest levels of British intelligence. But while he is investigating this possible breach of security, he discovers an even larger crisis that brings in Britain, America, Russia, and could spell disaster for the whole world. The inspiration for Red Corona came from my discovery of the American satellite program called Corona, which is where the name of the book comes from. This was the most advanced piece of espionage technology ever created. It was the first attempt at global surveillance using satellites to spy on people anywhere, at any time, any place. But it was also very basic technology. It still used film cameras and the photos that it took of the planet's surface were parachuted down to the planet and caught midair by giant American planes with big hooks hanging out of the back of them. So I thought this was an incredible moment in history to explore these ideas of data, privacy and surveillance and write a really exciting spy story that hit those wonderful 60s um, beats without being too modern, but speaking about very modern subjects. It's book ended with two real life events. The first is the launch of the Corona satellite program. Uh, the second one is a technological step forward from that, which I won't give away now because it's part of the plot. But that's what I'm really interested in. I'm not a scientist by training. I'm not an engineer. Um, so part of the fun, as well as getting to research the 1960s, was getting to research all of this really cutting edge technology from the time and see how what was going on then has created the world we live in now. Red Corona is the first in the Richard Knox spy thriller series. The second in the series is called A Loyal Traitor. Uh, this came out in hardback earlier in the year and will be coming out in paperback in September. And the third novel, which is called A Game of Deceit, will be published next spring. When you write your first novel, you have a lot of hopes and a lot of expectations and a lot of fears. To get represented is an incredible achievement. To get published is an incredible achievement. To have people enjoy the book is even more special. So what's really made uh, winning a People's Book Prize Award for first time author um, really precious to me is the fact that it was voted for by the public. And it's a recognition of something new, exciting, that people enjoy reading. And as an author, that's that's all you can really hope to achieve.